Hey guys, we're going to be looking at bookmarks today in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to explain to you what a bookmark is, what we use it for, um, why we use it, and I'm going to show you how we create a bookmark. Now, uh, you know when you're reading a book and you want to like stop reading but you want to come back to that part in the book, you put a bookmark or a bookmarker in the place where you want to come back to. It's kind of like that. So it's a bookmark. It's a location in a document that you want to be able to locate very quickly and very easily. So have a look at our page here. Uh, let's scroll down. Or well, I mean document, not page. Scroll down and I've got on page three, I've got some key components from this article. And this is a 21 page document. And you can see here, I've got these three sections here that I want to be able to jump to very quickly. So I'm going to create hyperlinks out of those and I'm going to use a bookmark for each one of those to jump to. So let's have a look at narrow AI and general AI. So if we scroll down, here they are here. So on page four, near the top, I've got a heading. It says, what are the different types of AI? And this is where they talk about narrow and general AI. So I'm going to insert a bookmark here here so I can jump to that from anywhere in my document but from that link that I'm going to make uh, primarily. So we go to insert. That's the first place you got to go to is insert and you'll see that there is a links group. Obviously my ribbon might look a bit different to yours. Mine's a little bit more squashed for file for size of the screen. So click over there and I'm going to insert a bookmark insert bookmark great so here you can see it says right you need to give this bookmark a name so I'm going to call this types of AI no spaces and I don't start with a number okay you can't start a bookmark with a number or a space and you can't have spaces in your bookmark name either so I'm going to type types of AI click on add done and you can see I've got my bookmark uh, icon enabled. So my little uh, indicator that you can see it looks like a big eye beam. All right, yours might not have that. Uh, send me an email, I'll show you how to switch that on. So let's see what that actually does. If I go back to my page, here it is here. And I now I'm going to make this a link to that bookmark. So I'm going to select the text. And again, I can click on links or I can right click on the text and say link. Okay, or my favorite and quick is just Control K. Control K, super easy, brings up the same thing. So Control K or go to Insert Links Link. Okay, now as you can see, uh, you might start off at a place that looks like this and it says Link to, Link to what? An existing file or a web page? No, I don't want to exist uh, an existing file or, or a web page. I don't have that. So I'm going to link to a place within this document. That's exactly what I want. Place in this document. And you'll see here all the various places in this document. Now, this is an edited document. Yours won't look like this, but mine does because I've edited it already. And here underneath bookmarks, there it is. Types of AI. That's the bookmark I created. So I click types of AI. Click OK. Done. Now watch what happens. When I take my mouse and I move it over this link, it says control plus click to follow. Let's see if that works. Control, click, and it jumps all the way down to the bookmark that I inserted. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. So let's go back up here. There it is there. Machine learning. So that's the one I want to look for. Machine learning. And if I remember, that was on page 8. Page 8. Up. Oh. I'm so good. Page eight. What is machine learning? So I'm going to click in the front over there. What is machine learning? I'm going to insert a link, but this link is going to be a bookmark. Click on bookmark and I'm going to call this machine learning. Yeah, I mean, you want to give it an intuitive name so you know what the bookmark is. Click on add. Fantastic. And then the other one was fake news. I mean, we heard that a long time for, for a while. Okay, go down, go down, go down. And I think that was page 15. Fake news. There it is. Fake news, page 15. So again, in front of the words fake news, let's add a bookmark there. And we'll call that, guess what? Fake news. Cool. Right, I now have the other two bookmarks that I need in place. So back to the top. Here we go. Back to page two, uh, three, sorry. Machine learning, select my text, okay. Insert hyperlink or control K. And now I'm already here, place in this document, fantastic. And there is machine learning. 
great. And let's do fake news. I select fake news, control K to put in a link. And fake news it is. But before you click OK, I want to show you what the screen tip does. It's very, very handy. So here at the top, it says screen tip. Okay, so I'm going to click on screen tip. And the screen tip is what shows uh, when you hover your mouse over the link. So I'm going to say, click here to read about the fake news. That sounds terrible, but there you go. Click OK, click OK. Now, watch what happens when I move my mouse over the word fake news. There's my screen tip. Click here to read about the fake news. And Control, click, takes me there. And that, that is bookmarks and hyperlinks in like less than six minutes and seven seconds to go.